everybody, I'm Leon Tackett. I'm Eric Simmons. And this is Blasters Garage. Garage. Hey, you know, Eric, I'm having a great time rebuilding this FJ60 for some lucky winner out there. I am too, man. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. We've met some great people along the road, helping us out get this thing done. We've been highlighting our veterans, which has been great. Highlighting our foundations, QL Plus, EOD Warrior Foundation. It's been a lot of fun. But hey, let's get somebody in here that's doing other great things for our veterans. I know one guy. Tim Abel from Grateful Nation, what do you think? Let's do it, man. Grateful Nation, that's, that's right. super cool. And what a cool name, that Grateful cool Nation. Name. If you're gonna have a show highlighting our veterans and what our veterans are up to, Grateful Nation is just a fantastic name. I agree. That's cool. I totally agree. Hey, just so happens, we have Tim Abel on our show today. Hey, Tim, what's up? Hey, guys, thanks for having me. Hey, so Tim, to get things kicked off here, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Grateful Nation meant to you while you guys were shooting this over the last 10 seasons. Doing Grateful Nation has been a great honor for me over the past 10 seasons. And that's come to an end now. You know, one door closes, another opens. And uh, I'm very happy to have had that opportunity for so many seasons. Ours was different in that it had to do with veterans and taking our veterans, a lot of combat wounded veterans on hunts and outstanding trips and uh, hunts of a lifetime around the world. So. It's been a special honor for me to do that. So Tim, tell us about Grateful Nation and also the name. How did, how did you get the name? Grateful Nation is, when I was in the Army, uh, I was in the 2nd Ranger Battalion at Fort Lewis first, and then I got uh, transferred over to uh, the 3rd USFGO Guard. And whenever a flag, whenever a service member is being buried in Arlington, and when the casket is taken to the grave site and the casket bearers take the flag, stretch it, fold it into that nice beautiful triangle with the stars, the field of stars showing. And then that's handed off to the clergyman or whoever the, uh, the superior officer is there, the officer OIC in charge. And he takes that to the loved one, mother, father, daughter, sister, brother, whoever that person might be, and kneels in front and presents it to them and says, on behalf of a grateful nation they present the flag. So that's where the term came from, Grateful Nation. Well, so how many shows did you guys end up doing and how many veterans did you have on the show? So we've probably done, you know, we've done probably at least 100, 100 shows, I'd say. Some shows we had more than one veteran that we were highlighting. Some shows we've had, uh, like, they always take like 10 hunters out, 10, 10 veterans, wounded guys, combat veterans. We basically picked two guys that we would, would highlight in the show. So we had a lot of shows like that where we would have big groups of people and we would just take in and focus in on one or two of those of the of guys that would be our main focus. For me, in the beginning, it was all about, let's have a hunt of a lifetime, a dream hunt. So we could go to Africa, we could go to New Zealand, we could go to Mexico or Canada or someplace beautiful in the United States. But we wanted to make it special so there was something that they go, man, you know what? I may never get to do that again in my life. So that was kind of, a, kind of what, what, what my vision for the show was. Wow, well, hey, uh, congratulations again, man. It's fantastic. But uh, what's next? What's next for Tim Abel? What's next for Tim Abel is uh, to buy a raffle ticket from Blaster's Garage so I can win that Land Cruiser. I just think that's awesome what you guys are doing with Blaster's Garage and uh, with, this, with, with this season of your show. But for me, you know, I'm an actor, you know, and I, I produce some things as well. So, and, I, and I continue to do things in the veteran community. I'm still on the board of Gallant Few, which is a ranger-run organization. And uh, in 2012, I was the, 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 uh, the uh, chairman of the board, the very first one. And, but now they've gotten a much more depth of field, guys that are CEOs of huge, huge companies that are really helping to bring a lot of money. Also American Hero Adventures, uh, which uh, one of our friends from, uh, one of our alumni from Gr Grateful Nation, he now does his own outdoor hunting adventure deal. Not really a TV show per se, but he does take a lot of veterans on hunts around the world, some pretty, pretty exotic places. And uh, American, American uh, uh, Soldiers Network, which is also in Los Angeles, uh, Annie Nelson. I work with her a lot, uh, and she does a lot of work with the, the local Marines down at Camp Pendleton and other veterans as well. So, and yeah, doing my thing as an actor. Hey Tim, thanks for coming on the show today. It was a true honor. Man, we can't be more grateful what you did for us and our veterans. Um, just thank you very much, and we wish you the best of luck in the future. Well, we are, Eric. Thank you guys very much, too. And I have to say that um, I love this studio. I love what you guys are doing, so uh, thanks for having me on, man. We couldn't do this without our sponsors. 
special thank you to Moehi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Paso Robles, R3 Strategic Sport Group out of San Diego, Dignity Health, and Taps Truck and Auto Accessories in Paso Robles. Thank you all so much. Hey guys, don't forget to support our troops. Like us and share us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Help us spread the word. Our men and women in the military will be grateful for your support.